got a box with this tape on it and that can only mean one thing vinegar syndrome with another sale so we're here to unbox this uh, package i got from vinegar syndrome today it was from their uh, 10th anniversary sale plus a couple of other goodies that they've had throughout the uh, month of january including one that they announced for january 1st that's uh shipped later in the month so let's unbox this sucker and let me not show my address here so you all can see it. We've got a nice brick that Vinegar Syndrome loves, loves giving me here. So we've got the box and we'll get rid of that. But we've got a nice brick of movies here. So let's go through them. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome, a lot of these were $10 uh, because they had their $10 uh, sale for their 10th anniversary. There's one in here that I was incredibly, incredibly excited for. I did a video about it. You can see the card somewhere around here. But... Uh, first off, we'll go with some of the movies I missed here and some of the ones that I got in their $10 sale. So we've got, uh, first off, we've got The Fear. And this one comes with the slipcover and everything. And this is a very nice, scary looking slipcover, really. Look at that. That's terrifying. Um, and so this one, a lot of their movies I just buy based on a whim because it looks cool. So there's the front cover there. And uh, this one actually has some nice uh, side artwork as well. Um, but we've got uh, The Fear, and this one is from 1995. It's 102 minutes. Um, and let's see, it's about a college student who has decided to focus his attention on the study of fear and has invited a group of friends up to his family's secluded mountain cabin for the weekend, during which they have agreed to participate in his project and share what terrifies them. So this one stars, uh, let's see, features Heather Medway, Ann Turkle, Vince Edwards, plus a rare acting role from legendary horror director Wes Craven. So you can check out Wes Craven in this one. And this has a, a new 4K restoration uh, commentary track with director Vincent Robert, a brand new commentary track with executive producer Greg H. Sims, a 50 minute making of documentary titled The Face to Face with the Fear, featuring interviews with the cast and crew, versatile cover artwork. So can't wait to dig into this one from 1995, this horror movie here. And uh, yeah, like a lot of these, these movies here, you gotta, Grab them from Vinegar Syndrome before they sell out, before you can't get the slipcover anymore, because their slipcovers are amazing. As for this next one, um, I hope I don't get demonetized for showing this on camera, but here is the uh, cover for Invisible Maniac, and I'm going to cover up the back here because I don't want to get demonetized, but I got the uh, Invisible slipcover for this one uh, on their sale for, I think, April Fool's Day. And Invisible Maniac, this is the 4K Ultra HD of it. And so once I got the slipcover in the mail, I was like, well, you know, might as well get the 4K of this. The movie sounded pretty fun. It's from 1990. And um, Kevin Dornwinkle, ever since he was a child, wanted nothing more than the ability to spy on naked women. So that's a Vinegar Syndrome line. If you've ever heard one for the movies that you know that they have, say, have some of their other more smutty movies that they have on their website. Traumatized for life when his prudish mother discovers his bedroom telescope pointed at the window of a nude and nubile neighbor. Kevin puts all his focus onto his other interests, science. And so it's uh, all about um, an, a mad scientist who becomes invisible and starts looking at naked chicks. So it uh, comes from the acclaimed mind of cult filmmaker Adam Riff Coogan. Adam Riff Coogan Rifkin. It's a very strange name to say a bunch of times in a row there. Director of uh, Detroit Rock City, Psycho Cop Returns, comes the Invisible Maniac. As lurid, sleazy, funny, weird, bloody, sexy, and original as any exploitation film can be, The Invisible Maniac stars Savannah, just one word, um, or one name, Stephanie Blake, Melissa Moore, Clement von Frankenstein, figure that name out, um, and Noel Peters as the perverted Dr. Dornwinkle. Never legally released on disc, this is Vinegar Syndrome's delighted to offer The Invisible Maniac on UHD and Blu-ray for the very first time. And it's got a pile of extras here as well. You've got a nice... Um, making of documentary that's 30 minutes you've got some music videos uh, public access show appearances uh, deleted scenes original trailers reversible cover artwork music video production stuff like that so this is a very loaded package here and uh can't wait to see the invisible maniac and so i can get the uh wherever i where did i put that slip cover wherever i put the slip cover i'll put it on this disc and so i can you know keep this one on the shelf with, with it or something like that but Awesome to get the Invisible Maniac in the collection here. Here's another one from their $10 sale that comes with the slipcover. Very excited to get this one. It's Creature. And so uh, this one seems like it's a bit of an alien knockoff, whatever you want to say. But um, this one, it comes from uh, Orion Pictures from 1985. So there's the front. 
very cool looking art. Um, stars Stan Ivar, Wendy Shaw, Marie Lauren, Lyman Ward, Robert Jaffe, Annette McCarthy, Diane Salinger, and Klaus Kinski is in it as well. Excited for that. Um, it's a William Malone film. And uh, in the not too distant future, the crew of the spaceship Shenandoah makes an unsettling discovery after landing in an archaeological dig site on the Saturn moon Titan. Another craft of German origin has already landed, but its crew appears to have vanished, save for hot headed captain Hans Hoffner, who seems to be hiding something about the mysterious disappearances aboard the craft, but it's not long before the truth is revealed. Um, this one's a very low budget film, a low budget, but high ambition slice of mid 80s science fiction horror. Uh, William Malone, scared to death, creature to just opposes bloody alien killings with a madcap starring performance from the great Klaus Kinski. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to get this one and super excited to get it for $10. So for $10, you can't really pass up a movie. I know these slip covers go for more than $10 most of the time. So to get creature into the collection, another sort of schlocky 80s horror movie here. Great job from Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, next up we have uh, Shallow Grave. And uh, this one looks awesome as well. There's the back when the most feared killer wears a badge. It's about a uh, killer cop, I guess. Um, most of these I haven't seen before. So I'm just going into these blind. Um, when four college co-eds are on the way to Florida for spring break, while passing through a small Georgia town, they unwittingly witness the murder of a woman uh, but when, they're, when they discover that the assailant is the local sheriff, they're forced on the run from a cunning and deranged sociopath who will stop at nothing to cover up his crime. Um, this one comes from, is from 1984. It's uh, 89 minutes. It's got some special features, a new commentary track, an interview with director Richard Stiles, a visual storyteller, an interview with writer-producer George Edward Fernandez, and then, of course, reversible cover. This one is region-free as well. So... Once again, can't wait to get this in my collection. Can't wait to see this uh, Shallow Grave, a nice uh, 80s sort of, another 80s horror movie here from Vinegar Syndrome. We've got another one here that looks like the cover of Smash TV and we've got Death Row Game Show. So I love The Running Man. This sounded like The Running Man to me. And uh, let's see, Chuck Toden hosts the most controversial show on TV, Live or Die, where death row inmates complete compete against each other for a chance to beat the executioner. However, when he accidentally kills a mob boss of the most feared mafia in the city, a hitman tries to put an end to him and with his show once and for all. As a battle of wits and survival ensues, Chuck is forced to engage in the very tactics he uses on his contestants or die trying. This one comes from 1988, 81 minutes, directed by Mark Pirro, starring John McCafferty, Robin Blythe, Darwin Carson, Bino, and Deborah Lamb. This one's got a new 2K restoration commentary track, 32 minute making of documentary, director's cut of Death Row Game Show, multiple director introductions, and then of course, two short films directed by Mark Pirro, Buns and The Spy Who Did It Better. Um, this one uh, looks awesome as well. Looks like a bit of, you know, running man kind of fun. So check out Death Row Game Show. Sad I couldn't get the, the slip cover with this one, but still awesome to get this one in the collection to watch. Second to last, we have what I was considering to be the most, uh, you know, I, I I listened to the soundtrack for this movie before I'd even seen the movie because the the, the song Friends was at the end of uh, Scare Package 2, Rad Chad's Revenge. You can watch that on Shudder. The Blu-ray is coming out in April, so look out for that. But we've got Miami Connection. I, I don't understand how I hadn't heard of this movie before. The story behind this movie is fascinating. It's insane that nobody's made a movie about the making of Miami Connection, but we've got Miami Connection, the 4K, and it comes in one of some Vinegar Syndromes. This is my favorite thing they do besides that um, Roadhouse box that they did is these double slip covers. So you have the super big box on the outside with double art and then that, and then you have the slip cover on the inside and with Dragon Sound right there, the band in the movie and just some awesome, awesome imagery there. And then this is of course the 4K. There's the wonderful art that they commissioned for this. And this one has just an astounding amount of extras to it. We've got the 4K disc with a uh, new 4K restoration. Uh, two 1080p Blu-ray discs are included as well. The Miami Connection with the commentary track, special features, resurrecting the dragon, looking back at Miami Connection again. A brand new extensive and exclusive making of documentary featuring all new interviews with Grandmaster YK Kim, actor Vincent Hirsch, actor Joseph Diamond, Actor Marie Smith, actor Angela Gennotti, actress Kathy, Kathy Collier, sound editor Jeffrey A. Okun, composer John McCallum, and production assistant Faith Cotter. Friends for Eternity, a making of documentary from 2012, Dragon Sound Reunion, a 25th anniversary concert from Fantastic Fest 2012. 
the new American Dream and Archival Grandmaster YK Kim promotional video. Who is YK Kim? An Archival Grandmaster YK Kim promotional video and then the re-release trailer from 2012. And then we've got Blu-ray disc number two with the uh, Escape from Miami, the original pre-release version of Miami Connection, newly restored and it's from its 35 millimeter interpositive with reversible cover artwork and then of course the subtitles and this one is 86 minutes uh it's a 4k and which means it's region free so you can watch this anywhere you can buy this anywhere and miami connection sounds absolutely insane it sounds like a, just a cult f amount of fun here from vinegar syndrome and it's got karate and rock and roll music and everything so i cannot wait to watch miami connection and get this one into my collection here but that's not all, folks, because we do have the main event here, and this was something that I thought would never happen. I thought that this would be stuck in being out of print, and of course we have the absolutely beautiful slipcover for From Beyond on 4K. And yes, this is Stuart Gordon's classic From Beyond on 4K. There is the Blu-ray that you can get from... Uh, Scream Factory that is long out of print that I paid a lot of money for. I'm not mad that this came out and is cheaper than this now that I paid for this because this movie's great and I wanted this movie in my collection so I decided to plunk down the cash for it. But now we've got an even better version of it. We've got the 4K from Vinegar Syndrome here. And there's the side and the back. Let's take a look at this. It's a very nice slipcover as well. We've got some nice artwork here on the front. And then, of course, on the back, we've got just an astounding amount of extras. You're paying a little extra for this, but you're getting... The, the documentary that's included on here, which I'm going to talk about, is worth the price of admission alone, really. I said this in the video that I made about whether or not this was worth it. I knew this was worth it before I got it in my hands. Um, but the 4K disc contains the unrated director's cut of From Beyond, presented in its original 35mm camera negative, 5.1 surround mix, 2.0 stereo mix, archival commentary track with director Stuart Gordon and the cast, archival commentary track with scre screenwriter Dennis Paoli. Also included are two Blu-ray discs, so you get two Blu-rays here. Contains everything on the U the Blu the 4K disc plus the following newly produced special feature. The re-resonator looking back from beyond a 97-minute documentary about the making of the film with actors Jeffrey Combs, Barbara Crampton, Ken Foray, screenwriter Dennis Paoli, Brian, producer Brian Usna, film editor Lee Percy, composer Richard Band, Foley artist Vanessa Ament, effects supervisors Michael Deke and Anthony Dublin, effects artists William Butler, Gabriel Bartolos, John Nolan, and Robert Kurtzman, and then Blu-ray Disc 2 has the following special features, archival special, special features, the director's perspective, reflections with director Stuart Gordon, Stuart Gordon on From Beyond, a 2012 interview with the director Tortured Soul, a 2013 interview with Jeffrey Combs, The Doctor's Inn, a 2012 interview with Barbara Crampton, paging Dr. Michaels, and 2013 interview with Dr. Ugh, with Barbara Crampton. There's a lot on here, so I'm having a hard time saying all of it. An Empire production, a 2013 interview with executive producer Charles Band, multiple, di multiple dimensions, the creatures and effects from beyond, an effects-focused feature from 2013, Monsters and Slime, the FX of From Beyond, an effects-focused feature app from 2012. Whew. Hold on. Just got to catch my breath here. Gothic Adaptation, a 2012 interview with screenwriter Dennis Paoli, storyboard to film comparisons with director Stuart Gordon, an interview with composer Richard Van, the trailer, and a still gallery. That is all you get from this if you haven't seen from beyond go out and buy this blu-ray 4k package go get it because it's amazing it's one of stuart gordon's best if you love reanimator you love this one you love what they do with the story in this one especially with the two of the main actors barbara crampton and jeffrey combs how they flip the script from reanimator where jeffrey combs plays the damsel in distress in this movie and it's awesome and Barbara Crampton plays a great, great, great hero in this. So make sure to go check out From Beyond, From Vinegar Syndrome, because it is absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait to pop this one in and see that 97-minute documentary on it. So that'll do it for this Vinegar Syndrome haul, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. We got a bunch of movies from them that can't wait to sink my teeth into but I can barely hold up. So there you go. There's all the movies from Vinegar Syndrome. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that YouTube stuff because it really, really helps me out to let me know what you guys want to see. And it lets me know, it lets YouTube know what the, you know, that stupid algorithm gets my videos in your inbox and all that. So make sure to check out the rest of my videos on my channel if you want more horror movies, 
video games, heavy metal, whatever else. We're doing it all on the channel. So from me and all these movies to you, I got to go get watching. But thank you for watching and I will see you again real soon.